Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to register for classes on ClassWeb. So the first thing I do is I go to the Chabot College website. When I get to the Chabot College website, I see this option here to register in ClassWeb. I click here. Right now there's two options, but I'm going to show you the most simple way. I'm going to sign on to ClassWeb. Right here it's going to ask for your user ID and your PIN. Your user ID is your W number. That is your student number from Chabot. It starts with a W and then it has eight more numbers. Then when you put in your PIN for the first time, it will be your six digit birthday. You will put your birthday in this format, month, month, day, day, year, year. So if your birthday is May 7th, 2002, your PIN is 050702. Make sure that you put the month first and the day second. And there's no 19 or 20 here, just the last two digits of the, num of the year. When you log in, it will ask you to change your PIN to a new one. It may also ask you other questions like your phone number or to set up a security question. So I have my W number and my PIN and I'm going to log on. From here, the first thing I'm going to do is go to student services on the top. Then I have the choice down here of registration. There are a couple of ways you can register. You can start by looking up classes, but if you have the class schedule and you know the CRN numbers, then you can go to add, drop, or withdraw from class. It will ask you about the semester I want to register for fall, so I will click Submit. Now I can take a look at the class schedule and find the CRN numbers for the class that I want to take. So I've decided I want this morning class of ESL 210. So this is the CRN for that class. I will copy or write it down and then go back and put it in the box. I also want to take this morning section of ESOL 220. So again, I will copy the CRN number and put it in the box. When I have all the classes that I want, I'm going to click Submit Changes. When it says Web Registered, that means that I am registered for the class. If I see something here that says registration error or not applicable, that means I was not registered for the class. Maybe when I took the test, um, the test gave me a different level and I'm trying to sign up for the wrong level. Or maybe I haven't passed the previous class. So you will only be able to sign up for the classes that you are eligible for because you passed the previous class or because you uh, were given that level at your uh, ESL test assessment appointment. Once you are registered, you are good to go. The next step will be to show up to class the first day. If you have any questions or problems with registration, please reach out to the ESL department. Maybe you couldn't log into ClassWeb, maybe your PIN number didn't work, 
or maybe you were not able to register for a class and you don't know why. So you can send an email to us at cc-esl at chabotcollege.edu and we'll be happy to help. All right, good luck.